Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Road to 500 Days. I am still here in Pleasant Valley. We've done Single Void and we are kind of done here in Pleasant Valley now. There are a few things left to do. We haven't mapped everything. There's a few bits and bobs here we haven't mapped, but we've practically been everywhere with one or two exceptions. Uh, but uh, there's one thing that I would like to do before we leave. Uh, I would like to go to Milton, of course, to... Um, get the next part of single void which we can do and we probably are going to bring the car battery from the bunker which is over here because there was a car battery in there so just to ensure that we actually have a battery we might bring it but i think before we do that we should really make the sled or the terroir we have saplings for it but we don't have deer height for it and we need i think it's two deer height uh one cure their height they don't take that long to cure but we don't have any in this space and this space is now pretty much set up we got a load of saplings we got pelts we got all sorts of things um but we don't have deer and we also don't actually have rabbits because i forgot to cure those things so today we're just going to get a few more things there in particular so we can have everything here in our base and then make the sled get the stuff from the barn and get the battery also be easy to travel with the battery and then continue the journey really so today we're doing something what time of day is this evening that's fine what am i carrying pies and meat okay that's fine so i think there shouldn't be any bears around i killed pretty much all the bears we killed a lot of wolves too and you can see the result of that but Deer is another story, so we need to find some deer. And there's often a deer around here, but not today. So the best bet is probably across the river here. There's usually a few deer around. Rows. And on minor disclaimer, if I do sound a bit different this episode, I do suspect that I am at the beginning of a cold. Uh, so uh, having children in kindergarten for you spreads very fast. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. But if I sound a bit different, that's why. Okay, let's see. Looks like we got thick fog coming in. So visibility is going to be reduced. But let's see if we can find some there. We have archery level 5, so hunting them shouldn't be too bad. Okay, if they're not here, they'll be by the barn. Might as well grab some feathers of this guy. There's also rabbits over here. Might as well check that out. Ironically, uh, if I have to kill deer over here, it would be nice to have the sled to <laughs> drag all the stuff back, but what are we going to do? Uh, hold on one second. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to check a background thing. Okay. No rabbits so far. Uh, that's a rabbit all the way over there, I think. Yeah, do a long distance shot for the fun of it. Mm, I mean, we'll just miss, but. Uh, it wasn't that far off, actually. I prefer using these arrows for ptarmigans, though, and I prefer using stones for rabbits. Tracked a lot of wolves carrying all this stuff, but that's okay. There's a deer. Need to be at least one somewhere. I haven't hunted a lot of deers. Okay, we got two. So uh, there should be some around. But yeah, I have seen four deer here. Okay, we got three. Ah, oh, there is four. 
Now, normally, I think I'd leave some of them. This is quite common that there's more dough than there, uh, than bucks, rather. But, uh, and normally, I think I'd leave some of them. But in this case, we're probably going to kill all of them because we want to hide. The food is not that big a deal, although we're def definitely going to grab the food, too. Uh, <laughs> it went between them. Can't even believe it. All right, let's take our time here and do this properly and not rush around just to try and get cool shots in, okay? So we'll get close and try and shoot him in the face. One at a time. I try to shoot them from the front if I can. Oh, I spooked them. All right. Let's reset. All right, so we got... All of these, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go for this guy first. The good thing by accidentally spooking them is that they're easier to shoot because they're gonna head back towards where they were. Let's see here. Where are you gonna go? Okay, let's uh tap. You can get this guy. I'm so used to standing up and shooting. Can't get too close. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna kill all of them. It would be great if they were grouped together, but I think that's too much to ask for. Yeah, come close, that's good. If these can get a bit close, that'd be good. So there should be more females than uh, males, which is uh, what developers said when they introduced the uh, doll, which was introduced when uh, the DLC came out. Uh, can I make this shot it's a bit far? I mean, I can make it maybe, but let's see if it moves closer to me. That's it. So in the past, you only had those bucks in the game. But from a little bit over a year ago, they changed it, so now you have those as well. And there's more those than out there. They're the same, except that the those have slightly less meat on them. And I mean slightly. Oh, the arrows are breaking. I don't suppose this deer can go... Yeah, it's coming towards us, which will be good. And I've got that makes sense, because it's like... I guess it's meant to be like the... The alpha male that sp spooked him off. Oh, strange direction. That happens if you do this. If you like, if you put the the animal off screen and then back, they can change direction. So it's like an exploit you can use if you really want to. So for example, like this, it's walking left, I can do this. And now it's turning this way, see? And then like that. And then you can keep doing this. Um, that's an exploit, obviously. <laughs> use it uh, as you see fit. Let's just see, can I get this there from here? Apparently not. Okay, there we go. The good thing is that when you marginally miss but don't spook them, you can, you can just adjust your shot. Okay, we'll probably use a... Um... ...match for this. The bears have been killed, most wolves have been killed, so we should be fine. Mm, some wolves around, okay. Let's see how cold is it. Minus five. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab one hide. That's the one that matters the most. We can't use our hands because we need to make an incision. And I'm going to put this to cure in the barn while I do everything else. And then by the time I've done everything else, this, this hide should be... A few percentages more cure than the rest, making it a bit easier to make the... the wah. And we might want to dump some stuff in here. We're probably going to sleep here in the barn, most likely, while we do all this stuff. But we might want to dump a few things here in the barn to lighten the load in terms of... Uh, of the meat. So let's put this in here for now.
Okay, leave that there. And let's leave a couple other things there. So first, let's just eat this. Got the rabbit to harvest as well. We can... Let's keep that on us, because I might harvest it over there. Uh, what can I drop? Let's see. Uh, heavy things. Uh, hatchet. Yeah, I guess we can drop the hatchet. We don't need this or that. Um, don't need the pry bar. Guess that's more or less it. We can drop these two as well. Oh, that wasn't that much, but at least it was something. Yeah, I, I guess... Guess that's it for now. Okay. Let's start harvesting these uh, deer. I want the hides. But the most important thing was to get one hide. I do want the meat as well. It is getting colder now, so I definitely will make a fire. Uh, that looks a bit weird, the birch forest. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to look like that, but... Uh, let's grab some wood, because we're definitely going to be making a fire here. And we'll probably be using our tools, because this is going to take a while, so let's do it as fast as we can. And I don't care if we use our coal. By the time we're done here, we're going to get more coal uh, heading to um, Mystery Lake. So we got some feathers, because uh, I went indoors. I also harvested. And I'm going to put all the feathers right now, but if I do pick up these, more of them can respawn. Ah, screw it, let's just Wait. pick up these two. I'm so cold, I'm warming up a bit. It does sound like the wind is picking up. Yeah, it is. But how much is it picking up? Is a blizzard coming? It does look a little bit like a blizzard is coming. Let's try something quick. Yeah, see, kind of strong wind here. That's unlucky. Uh, let's see. Let's try here first because this might be in shelter actually. Right here. This isn't shelter. It is, yeah. So let's just do this one first. Go. So it does... If it is a blizzard or... Storm, then at least we get this one. Come on, little fire! This does happen, you can kind of see that it was... Because it had already been foggy. So it was turning kind of foggy again, but white fog. So it, to me felt like, mm, I think maybe a blizzard is coming. We don't have that much water. Uh, so let's just make some. One liter is fine. I'm not going to get the guts, but I'm going to get the hides and the meat. So let's grab meat first. And then we got these swanky new animations, which are great. They are really cool and immersive, but when you harvest a little bit of meat at a time, it does become a little bit um, jarring, I guess is the word. So after uh, between the last episode and this one, there's actually been a patch where they've changed, or rather fixed, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so a lot of little things have been improved, which is great. And one of the things they changed also, not fixed, but changed, is that now you can actually harvest um, rabbits and ptarmigans with your bare hands. So in the last patch, in the DLC part 4, Buried Echoes, when that came out, they, with the new housing animations, they did it so that you no longer could actually harvest um, ptarmigans and rabbits with your bare hands. Unless you make made an incision cut first. You had to cut the animal with any kind of sharp... Oh, any kind of sharp uh, uh, tool. Use this is faster. 
like a knife or a hacks or whatever. So that meant that on Interloper in the early game, if you were hunting rabbits or ptarmigans, you wouldn't actually be able to hunt them. Uh, because if you tried, you wouldn't be able to harvest uh, the rabbit or the ptarmigan. It would just be, it wouldn't be possible because you had to make an incision cut first. And of course you don't have any tools or anything. So that was uh, a big, a big deal. The only exception was if you found a hacksaw, then you could use the hacksaw to make the incision in the rabbit or ptarmigan, and then you can harvest the rest by hand if you wished. So that meant that uh, the early game for Interloper changed. Unless you found a hacksaw, you were unable to get ha uh, rabbits and ptarmigan. So you couldn't get some early game meat and some early game, um, you know, uh, hides and feathers that all went out the window unless you found a hacksaw. However, now with the latest patch, what they did was they changed it so that if you harvest a, you, you can now harvest a ptarmigan with your bare hands and a rabbit with your bare hands, provided they're not frozen in the early game without an incision tool. But instead what they did, they added a penalty. So if you do that, um, so you lose some of the meat, which makes sense. So that's interesting. So some of the changes I discussed in the last video regarding harvesting has now been reverted, which is interesting. 12 minutes. Let's harvest this then. Uh, I think we can use our hands probably. 14 minutes. Actually, yeah, this is a good example. See now? It, this uh, this now would normally require an incision tool, right? Any of these. But because they changed it now, you can use your hands. Uh, we're going to do that, and you'll see that it's possible. But I'm going to lose some of the meat. And let's see. Uh, it should say at the bottom of the screen. Okay. It didn't actually lose anything. <laughs> and uh, even though it doesn't say... I did suspect that was going to happen. I believe that's because of this. Uh, that when you're high enough harvesting, probably, if I had to guess, probably level 3 harvesting, you don't lose any meat using your hands. Uh, I don't know though, it doesn't. It didn't say anywhere in the patch logs uh, how, how that works, but someone mentioned that they did harvest a rabbit by hand and they didn't lose any meat. Uh, and the reason I think it's level 3 is because if you smash open a can, uh, then you will also lose some calories doing that. But uh, when you reach level 3, you can smash open a can and you don't lose any calories. So I'm guessing harvesting will be the same. So if, if you level 3 carcass harvesting, you don't lose any meat using your hands. I'm guessing. I don't know. We have to figure that out. Okay, that's done too. Getting a lot of cooking here. Uh, there is an argument for keeping some of this raw. Because then we can make the... Uh, the pie or whatever. Um, this one. We can make this one. I could, t could take the rabbit and the venison back and we can make this one. Oh, well, why not? Let's keep this one. And that one on the side. How about that? Uh, this guy we're done with. This one we're done with. Yeah. And then we have some more left. It looks like the wind didn't pick up, so we can also switch campfire. Uh, let's grab the height. <laughs> the ears move. Yeah, I think that was a good change from developers to do it so that you can now harvest small game by hand, but you lose meat unless you're high enough level, it seems. Okay, uh, grab that. I don't know if I have any more meat to cook, do I? No. So we'll do this instead. One liter and one liter. And grab a torch and we're going to start a new fire. And not by this one, because this one's almost done too, but by the buck. This is why I put one of those hides uh, right away in the barn, because it's going to take a little while to do all this stuff. This is a great place to find deer. In Pleasant Valley, next to the farm, you get one deer, usually. 
near the farm itself. Then you get get a couple by the haystacks, and then you can get um, four here. Okay, I think we can safely grab. Let's use the hacksaw and grab like four kilos. And then we can use two of them to cook on the other fire. The, the other fire is not going to be used except for cooking until it expires. Okay. Put two of these here. Let's also put our cooked meat here. Let's go over here and check here. How's this looking? This is boiled. Yeah, we should be able to cook this too. Maybe even more. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Take all of this with us. And we can leave that for the moment so I don't confuse it. Drop this here. 32 minutes. We might as well grab some more. What's the fastest? Knife. Use knife then. We're getting a lot of meat here, so Pleasant Valley after this is pretty much a well-secured base. Okay. Because there's so much food and a decent amount of water. Okay, wind picked up. That's a shame. Bound to happen though, we got a lot of it done. Uh... Hides. Okay. There is more stuff to get here, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can take all of this back. We'll grab this one later. Okay, we got pretty good visibility despite the storm. So we're gonna head back to the barn and drop some stuff I'm there. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. We got our fires, they're gonna blow out. We can try again in the morning. Uh, the meat's not that big a deal, there's like... Between these two, there's like... 7 kilos, but then that fourth one... We haven't uh, done anything Do there. I, there should be a wolf somewhere nearby that we haven't killed, that probably should be on us by now. Because we smell a lot. Well, the bears shouldn't be an issue. We killed that bear. We killed, we killed like three bears in this area. Uh, there could be more bears up, but they're too far away. So bears at this point shouldn't be an issue for at least like another, I don't know, at least another 20 days, I imagine. I'm going to put the meat over here because that's where I have the rest of the meat. Yeah, so here we got our other meat. So it's like... Uh, bear and moose. We'll put it here. All the way by one, I think. And we can put over here the raw stuff too. So for one, which I'm just going to carry. And then we'll sleep here till morning. All right, yes. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> but I should be here. There we are. I can actually see it. I think now we can just put all this stuff back. Yeah. See, there's a six percent now. May not make a difference, but more than these ones. Okay, that's good. We have another day, uh, another hide here, which is great. Let's not forget that. We got a moose hide here too. But all this the same place, so we don't forget. Do you see that? There was like a green outline there. Do you see that? I'm not sure what that was about. Anyway. Oh, yeah. And the guts. Let's just uh, pick these out. I want them all the same place in case I forget. Let me put them over here. Alright, so we're gonna sleep. But before we do, 
Uh, let's just harvest these. The broken arrows. Anything else we can do to kill time? Just so we can sleep for 10 hours is the idea. Uh, I think we got most of it. Could do some repairs. We need cloth for that. Uh, let me just have a very quick look around. See if anything was added. I don't think so because I didn't really add many things to the game. The last patch. Other than canisters. But because of the scurvy, there might be something like around. You never know. Let's just have a, a little look. Was this always said? Yeah, I probably just closed it, I guess, right? Hmm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and yeah, that seems to be it. Okay, well, let's go sleep then. Put down our bedroll. And let's eat uh, a venison. Yep. And drink. And sleep. We'll put 10 hours, but I think it'll be 9 hours. Okay, nice. Morning. Go. All right, uh, let's. I'm actually going to drop this meter also, so don't forget about it. I'm going to use this for eyes. All right, let's go back out there. What's the, uh, the situation? Okay, fine. We need a bit more wood. We have some, but not a lot. Wolves are back, so this wolf might come and annoy me, but if that is the case, that's fine. We'll just kill the wolf. The wolves respawn pretty fast. The wolf can respawn as fast as three days. There we go. Uh, but it usually takes about a week. I get past him. Come after this carcass, will you? Oh, it's another deer. A fifth there. No. Oh. Yeah, this one later. Or oh, give me the the last one. <laughs> There we are. Two best friends, like a Disney movie. I'm starting to feel numb. Yeah, we're gonna use a uh, match for this as well. There's the other wolf over there. Right, we have to use two pieces of coal, but that's fine. Uh, slight error that I should have brought some of the raw meat, so I could just cook it while I'm harvesting here, but oh well. That we can just ignore fire. for now. We can make some water instead. Oh, so cold. Okay, that's two matches used, but it is what it is. Put two of these on. Forty minutes. Grab where we can then. Six kilos, let's go. This should now be cut open. There we go. Cook some venison. Is that wolf coming? Ah, it's too far away. Despite the three stink lines. Okay, 30 minutes. Uh, let's grab the hide then. Might leave that last there, we don't really need it. We have four hides. Uh, I don't really think we need it, to be honest. We could leave it. 
Cooked and cooked. There we go. Let's grab the rest of the meat, or rather, uh, yeah, we'll put. Yeah, we'll grab one. And you can grab the wolf also, you might as well. We can continue this fire near the barn after you got everything. 15 minutes. Two kilos of wolf meat. Not a very big wolf, 3.3 .3 kilos. The wolves don't have that much meat. The highest I've seen on a wolf I think is like 6 kilos or something like that. And da -da, da -da. cook these ones. 39 minutes. Okay. Grab the hide of this guy. This is that episode. The uh, harvesting episode. <laughs> But I try to do it in, uh, as you may have noticed, like I do it, get as much meat as I can in one go. So that uh, you don't have to see through as much. Are these raw? Yeah, they are. Okay. Put these two, these two. How long? An hour 20, it's fine. Let's see what, what more meat we can get from these ones. Eat the wolf meat. Three point eight. I'll put three then. Use the hack so. so I try and get as much meat as I can in one sitting, so that there's less of these animations. I know that some viewers some viewers don't like them, period, and would like to turn them off completely if possible. And they have to look away. And if you are one of those viewers, then I apologize and I understand. Um, but I can't do anything about it. The only thing I can do about it is to be as efficient as I can with harvesting by harvesting as much as possible in one sitting. And then there are other people who uh, like the animations but they wish it wasn't every single time because it gets a lot of, there's a lot of head bobbing, a lot of motion sickness, it's, it's a bit much. Uh, one suggestion I saw by, was that maybe um, it should be that the animation plays the first time you interact with the carcass and then after that it's disabled. And that's not a bad idea. I do think they should have an option to turn it off if I'm honest uh, because uh, I did a poll and most people do like these animations but that's not the point. The point is that the game is close to 10 years old, at least from early access. And for 10 years you've been used to not having that sort of thing. And yeah, so it's understandable that people are not really accustomed to seeing that. Uh, 30 minutes, okay, we can grab a gut. No, we got one kilo here, we can grab that. Maybe by hand. Yeah, by hand. Let's also grab. That, yeah, there we are. Do it in one sitting rather than two. That's for visual efficiency, let's say. Okay. And I think, pick this up, pick up a torch. And we pretty much got everything here now. So what we'll do is we'll grab this torch, take it back to the barn and we can try and cook some more there. I don't have much fuel left. I have two coal and two sticks. Uh, unless I make a fire next to one of these limbs or something. Or I go inside and break some crates down. I could do that, I suppose. Then uh, we're kind of at the end of the road here. Uh, there's the wolf. We kill the wolf? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, maybe we can kill this dude. This pack is getting too Make it slightly less annoying. We could kill him. Oh, here comes the whole 
Oh, wolf pack. Hey, Wolfie. Mm, I actually missed her. Shot him in the bum. Hey, other Wolfie. Well, here they are. I don't think I'll harvest these wolves. I might, while well, things are cooking, go and grab, like, the... hide or something. Oh. I'll lose this fire. Hey, Wolfie. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Hey, you run away. Oh, there's two of you. Yeah, let's get rid of you, because it would be annoying after a while. Let's get rid of you over here, though. We have all our meat. Make a fire here, like... Pretty sheltered right here, actually. Like, right there. I'm actually going to put it, like, here. I think. Where'd the other wolf go? He should have been on me by now. Unless where I'm standing counts as indoors. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. There Perfect. you go. Um. Okay, so do I have anything to cook? Yeah. Uh, keep another one of these venison ones. There we are. Uh, let's drop our venison that's cooked. Oh, there you are. Uh huh. Hmm, looks like they went through. Wasn't too worried about the wolf because the fire was there, but still. It was a little bit faster than I expected. Put this one here. Uh, am I carrying guts? I think I am, yeah. Ah, uh, they'll be back. Okay, how long? 21 minutes. Uh, let's see if we can find some sticks. There you are. But I heard something. I don't see any sticks. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Was attempted to go into the birch forest to find some birch bark. Uh, 13 minutes. Let's do this. And then we have these cooked. And then we're gonna cook this other stuff, like this. It's ruined meat. Do it like this. 46 minutes. Oops. And we can go inside. I can break down some crates. Takes that long? Oh, this one then. Get some wood that way. Oh, we got fog. Okay. Three minutes. Put some of this on. Cook, cook. Also cook as much of this as we can. Forty-six minutes. Uh, well, it was fifty-eight, so it's slightly over, but that's all right. We'll just grab this. More wood. There you go. Might go into Birch Forest. But not now, maybe the next day. Cooked. I was gonna keep cooking this, I think. And uh, this is 
Bear meat cooked. Have that. And then I think we're actually going to take advantage. Uh, I think you can cut down these limbs. For 45 minutes, I think. Not even cold. Uh, there we are. Uh, 58. Ah, let's do it. Let's do it. He's being secure anyway, so... There was another one over here. Wasn't there? I think there were two. Oh. Well, let's grab this then. How long for this? 28 minutes. Grab the hide then. This is one of those hunting sessions. A lot of crows. A lot of crows. That's a whole lot of crows. Much more. Yeah, the wolf. Where are you? I think they're all dead now, right? There's maybe one that got away. Or are they all dead? I think they're all dead. It's not really cold, so I, I'm happy to just go out here and do this without a fire. And I barely take any damage. And as you can see, by the way, minor thing. As I get cold there, the, I start losing health. Uh, with the old patch, there was an issue where um, you actually didn't take cold damage when it got cold while you were doing that harvesting. That was a bug. Now they fixed it. Huh? Oh. Why are they different times? I don't know. Oh, whatever. Just cook, cook this stuff. Anything I can do here? Um, I should drop the cure, but I'm not too bothered. Let's eat this. And let's eat this too. And drink. And then I think just warm up here. We go. Let me grab some more meat. And then this was spare meat, right? Right. That's moose meat. It's also moose meat. I, must, I put some of this in the wrong place. I can barely walk with this much gear. I guess it's okay, I think, yeah. This is all bear meat. And this is moose meat. Moose meat is here. We drop this here. And here's the venison. And then this is raw. Okay. And that's raw. Okay. Wait, nine. Let's go grab this hide over here too. I think that's all the wolves. I think they're all dead now. There's a limb right there. Hardly takes any condition loss on the knife grabbing the hide. It was 68 earlier too, I think. It's getting dark now. And colder. We got so much meat that the wolf meat is really not a big deal. They also don't get that much calories compared to the other, other ones. What I really want is the hides. Okay. What's that? Four? Four wolves, I think? And four there? 44 minutes. 
Anything else to manage? Uh, this. I don't suppose I have any books to read, do I? No. I didn't think so. How many fire hardened arrows? Eight, that's fine. Uh, it's too low visibility to go into the birch forest now. I'll wait until morning, I think. 12 minutes. Ah, oh, they're different sizes, okay. That's fine. I think I'm just passing time now, because there isn't anything I really need to do while this is cooking. So I think I'm just going to do this. And just cook as much as we can, really. Sounds like the wind, yep. We got a blizzard on our hands, so that's fine. We cook until the wind turns. Yeah, a lot of cooking on here. See how far we get. How far can we cook before the wind turns? That's moose meat. All this. Bear meat, which is all this. And then we got the venison here. Uh, let's take. Yeah, they take that with us. Might take two roll with me. Okay, I'll cook the rest. We might be able to cook everything, actually. We'll sleep in, but that's alright. Yeah, two more, and then I think we're done. The wind changed. It's fine. We did well. Let's go inside and let's uh, drop these hides secure as well. I think there was one wolf hide I didn't pick up. So here, let's, uh, this is the raw meat. And I want to take this as well. And then we have... In our inventory, we have another deer hide I didn't pick up before. It's a 29, that's great. We got bear hides, we'll put... Ah, oh, it is four, okay. Uh, guts, yeah, oh, I mean, I picked up one gut only. There we go, and then we'll just sleep. And then we'll eat uh, the wolf meat. Have a drink and we'll sleep. 10 hours, which I think actually we can sleep and it'll be around noon or something the next day. I think. Very nice. Okay, we got that. And we're full health also, which is great. Let's eat uh, nothing for the moment. Have a drink. Not going to start another fire unless it's sunny. What's the condition on this bedroll? 65. How much to repair it? Ooh, five. <laughs> Wow. Two and five. Okay. Well, we'll do that later. Okay, great. Um, I might go to the... We got some time still, like two days or so. Three. So let's go and get some... Oh, very... Oh, it's actually a sunny day. Uh, in that case, I think we might... How much is left to cook? It's everything, isn't it? Because these two I wanted to take... No. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, did I... oh I, I placed down the ones I had in my inventory, didn't I? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So these two here I can cook. So we're going to... Since it's sunny anyway. 
we might as well make a fire and they can cook water while we're out doing whatever. So I'm gonna make a fire, cook those two pieces of meat and uh, then we'll put some water to boil and I'll go grab some, some birch. Come on, little fire. I think I'll leave most of the smelly stuff here, although the wolves should be dead now. So I don't think they are an issue anymore. Okay, uh, let's put on oh, yeah. that, and that, and then we'll put, we might as well just put it on like this. 40 minutes, because then I can go over here, and I can grab this. Which is 58 minutes. I get Tinder also, which I don't need. Drop that. Okay, let's uh, see here. I've never felt so cold in my life. Uh, let's warm up before we head further. So let's just go here, put one liter and go inside. And let's just warm up here for a bit. It's late in the day, so I think I'm going to... We're not going to sleep, we're going to pass time. One hour. I think I'm probably going to sprint quite a bit out there. Okay, that's warmer. This is boiled dry. And then what we're going to do, we're going to eat one of these bear meat. And then we're going to drop that, drop this, and then we cooked everything. Massive piles of meat. How about that? Uh, we got a bunch of water. We can always leave a couple liters of water here. Why not? Okay. Let's see if there's some birch to be found. Uh, let's also have a look at our torches. How is this? It's a 12% torch. We don't need it to get rid of it. And let's grab a couple of good torches. That was a terrible torch, but I'm going to use it for the moment because I'm not going that far. Okay, we'll grab one more. Okay, then we're going to put on some water. Two liters here, which takes an hour and a half. And this only takes 40 minutes. This might evaporate, but that's okay. And we're going to run because it's already late in the day and I don't mind sleeping. So to reset the cycle. So we're gonna go through the forest there just to see if we can pick up some birch bark to just have some more birch tea handy. I don't have that many, I don't think. Let's just go through it. Also, the birch forest is one of the f my favorite areas in the game because it's thick, thick, thick forest. And I wish the Long Dark had a proper like forest region. It doesn't actually have that. There are regions that are forested. Oh, more deer. Uh, for example, Mystery Lake is a lot of forest, for example. But this is the only place where it's like really dense, dense forest, you know? And it's hard to see. Maybe not right here, but when it's thick like this, a uh, predator can easily hide. And uh, it's hard to navigate because it all looks the same. And I wish there was a forest region that was like this, like a lot of trees close together, like this, see? This is really tight with trees. And I think that'd be interesting. Can I map this, by the way? Uh, I don't think I even mapped the farm, now that I think about it. The, the Sorry, the barn. Maybe we should do that here then. So I wish there wasn't a region like this. I think that'd be cool. That's just the map here. Because apparently I haven't mapped this. The torch might go out, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah, it blew out. That's all right. Uh-huh. A lot of feathers too. Search, what's in it? Oh, newspaper. making sure. I'm gonna get cold but that's alright. There's a few patches in the middle that have a lot of birch bark. Let's just check the edges first here. 
Then let's go over here. Let's comb through it. The bear is dead, so... There we are. Go to Birch. Grab some sticks as well. More birch. Gotta warm up somehow. So this episode was definitely a crow's feast. So many carcasses. Four deer, four wolves. And a bun and a rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting a lot of birches, that's great. It is possible to survive on Interloper by only having birch tea. Uh, and water. Well, you don't have to have water though, you can have only birch tea if you like. Uh, I've done it. It's just a bit of a grind. It's just that you, you gotta keep moving. So you basically starve yourself just the whole down. time. And you keep moving from region to region that has birch, a lot of birch, like Pleasant Valley has a lot, Ash Canyon has a lot, Ravine has a lot. And you just go uh, from region to region to pick up as much birch as you can. And then every now and then, every three or four days or whatever, um, every three days I guess it is, you drink a whole bunch of birch tea and then go to sleep. So you drink like three or four, and then your your first meter is full. And then you pass a little bit of time, like a few minutes. You drink another birch tea, and then another one, another one. And if you drink like eight or something like that. And then what happens is that uh, uh, when you wake up, you will have healed to almost full health. <laughs> but then you got to do the whole thing again. So a lot of it is kind of finding a... Route. Oh, there was more meat. I forgot about this. Glad I checked. Yeah, we have more meat here. We can take all of this back with us. Yes, it was even more than I thought. That's alright. We'll take it back with us. I think the water in the... Uh, what should we call it? The skillet is probably evaporized. I think the water in the pot is still good. What's that? Ah, oh, it's this building making the noise. Creaking noises. This is where we killed a few episodes ago. A few wolves, a bear and a moose in one place. You can see that the barn actually is not the worst base <laughs> because the barn, assuming you have the right moose spawn, the barn has the moose, the bear, wolves around, deer over there, deer over there at the outside of the barn, and some rabbits over there. So there's actually a lot of animals around. There's also a moose spawn over there and some more deer over there and rabbits as well. Cattails. It's actually a really good base, if you think about it. Hey, look, there's another buck is back. A buck is respawned. He's like, hey, I was gone for like two days. What happened? And <laughs> look at him, he's like, dibby do. So I never actually had the barn as a base, but it's not bad. Got a lot of resources. The only thing is, it doesn't have the six hub stove. That, uh, two minutes. Two minutes of boil dry. It doesn't have a six up stove. Be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh, that uh, the farm has. You might as well cook this. Uh, I think just kill time here. There's nothing. No, there is. There is. Um, birch. How many can we make? Like seven, I think? Yeah. I could cook them, but I don't need them right now, unless... Do I have any at all? I have one. I think I like to carry two, so let's just... Do this. Uh, let's just make two of these. Uh, 
and then go here. Cook that. Anything else? I don't think so. No. Uh, yeah, let's just pass time again. Uh, we can cook this as far as is possible. As I used uh, at least some of this. We don't have to cook all of it, I suppose. But might as well tie all, all loose ends. So this actually there's a lot of it. So I think we'll cook this last one here, and I think that might be might be it. Maybe. Nah. Maybe we should. Uh, we're quite awake still, so maybe we should just keep going for a little while. I'm not gonna use the coal, but I, I will use the cedars. Yeah, we might as well finish this. Actually, there's not that many left. Two more, two more rounds. Go, a drink. Getting a lot of cooking and hunting done today. And those ruined sheds and stuff, the creaking that they make, sounds a bit like the Dark Walker. Okay, that's the last of that. This might actually be cooked in time. Yeah. Because of the extended fire duration by being, being outdoors and everything. And being high enough level. This is bear meat, so, but moose... Wait. Oh, I made a mistake again. It doesn't really matter though, they give the same. Uh, doesn't really matter. But still. <laughs> uh, so here we are. So that's all the meat cooked then. Three big piles of meat. We'll take some of it back now, but primarily... We're going to uh, we're going to take the hides back, and we'll come back for this with the the terroir. How cold is it? Minus fifteen. Mm, a little bit cold, but not horribly. I'm going to actually grab this aurora. Aurora. Cash. Cash. Alright, we got a cash. Wait. So cold. But let's uh, warm up a little bit. We'll go find the cash. Shouldn't have much in it. Any lights in here? It's, yeah. Not a lot to see though. Kind of dark still. What am I carrying? I can dump. Anything. Nothing really. I could eat one of these if I want to, but I don't think I want to. Uh, is the fire still burning outside? Because if it is, I could heat something up to warm up. Have a look. Ah, it blew out, okay. Alright, we're gonna go out. The, the, the only the issue is it's a bit late in the night. So it's gonna get... It's not going to last very long, this Aurora. I am going to pass a little bit of time. Just like that. And maybe a little bit more. It's not going to be that short. Okay. And now we can go. Because otherwise... Uh, I'm going to be walking around the cold. So I don't know where the supply caches are. I know where the bunkers are for the story mode for Single Void. But I never... I never looked up what these caches are. Oh, uh, except for the old one I found, uh, of course. But it's just an interloper. An interloper, they tend to be uh, empty. There was one that, you, that had a technical balaclava in it. But they changed that. So there's one wolf that remained. There's now an Aurora wolf. We shouldn't get an Aurora bear because um, the Aurora animals, they replace the animals that are already out. So if you have a pack of wolves and Aurora hits, they will be... They will despawn eventually once the aurora effect triggers, which isn't right away when the weather happens. 
is like an hour or so uh, into the weather change, then the effect of the aurora happens and the animals despawn and aurora versions spawn in. Uh, but if you killed the animals, then there isn't a counterpart to spawn in. Oh, the animal wolf got he gave up. There we are. Hey! Sweet. Alright, let's see. Coal. Hey, right, I'll take it. Nice. So we got one of them then. I uh, map this? Will this show up actually if I map it? I think it will. It yeah, it does, yeah. Breathing. Nice. Oh, hello. Let's uh, run. Aurora wolves. Aurora animals are tougher than regular animals. They have a longer aggro range and stuff, but the main issue with Aurora animals is that they take more damage. Like, that's because they have basically higher hit point and reduced damage. Uh, they have damage dampener, so they take less damage. An Aurora bear, because of this, effectively has double health. So an Aurora bear is quite tricky to kill by comparison to regular bear. Aurora wolves can still be one shot, although I have on one occasion shot a wolf in the head and it didn't die. We could kill this wolf. Just for why not? Come on. Let's get afraid of the lights, huh? Yeah, he got scared of the lights. He got scared of these lights, I think. Got his uh, Aurora Howl. Ah, he's kind of... St he's stuck and he's running away. So he gets to live. Bum up. Alright, uh, I don't think we need to eat before we sleep, so... Let's just put this down. And we can just... Walk down. And that's it. In the morning we can head back. Sleep. We'll put 10 hours again. There we go. We need to eat. Eat some bear meat or something. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Oh, I kind of wanted to map the barn. What's the temperature out here? Kind of cold, but not terrible. Pass a little bit of time. I would like this to clear up, it's because I would like to map the barn. Let's see if this uh, fixes that. Oh yeah, okay, now we can map. There we go. Okay, so. And the deer has like wandered all the way over here. So many crows. So many crows. Alright. Uh, we're going to move back to the farm now. And we'll take all this stuff with us. We're going to take the moose side as well, I think. Might leave that. But we're definitely taking these. 58% cure. So we'll still need a couple more days. Okay, we're heavy now. Take this with me. So how heavy am I now is the question, really. I think we're going to have to leave this move side over too heavy. We'll get it later with the sled. Let's make a note of that so I don't forget. Uh, go to barn to bring back meat and moose hide. Just in case I forget. Alright, 
Minus 11, that's right. So, uh, let's eat one as well. You're gonna have to leave most of this behind. Because I'm, I'm gonna be too heavy. Uh, 50. We can, we can eat one of these, though. So now we're only two kilos over, so we can take a bit more. Let's take some moose meat with us. We can probably go up to like 60 or 58. Yeah, let's see if I drop that. And I can actually sprint. But, barely, but, you know, can sprint. We'll take this back. Goodbye, crows. Thank you for your company. You were noisy, as usual. But you were just doing crow things. And what happened to the doe that was there? Oh, you find that doe, Mr. Buck. And then you know what to do. Or rather, you know what to do. Anyway, let's move on to the abyss of the snow, the white abyss. Uh, I'm gonna have this out. Because you never know. <laughs> there should be a wolf around, actually, that should be able to track me. Because that Aurora wolf that I didn't kill uh, will have despawned by now and re been replaced by a regular wolf. And he was in this area. So there should be one wolf around. Uh, there's also the wolves by the herb farm, which probably have respawned by now. If we need something to do while we wait for the deer hide to cure, it's to probably... We could always make the wolf coat. Oh, it's starting to snow. We might make a wolf coat to have here in Pleasant Valley. And maybe even a moose cloak. The main reason being that then we have that set ready in case we want to go to Black Rock. We don't really need it though, to be honest. Because I, I like my double bear coat style. When I go to Bleak Inlet, I sometimes switch to Moose Cloak and Wolf Coat because it's lighter and Moose Cloak offers more protection than the Bear Coat. So if you want protection, oh, that's a, another doe, do um, then you can do that. So you're lighter and have more protection, but you're colder. But it doesn't really matter because Bleak Inlet's really cold. Unless it's sunny and still, uh, Bleak Inlet gets really cold really fast. Um, Blackrock doesn't have that thing, and uh, they don't get really cold really fast. It's just a regular temperature region as far as I know. But if you want extra protections from Timberwolves, you can have a moose cloak on. So, I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I might as well make a wolf coat and a moose cloak here. At least a wolf coat, because we can do it now. Uh, while, um... The moose cloak can, can wait. Also, we need to bring the uh, the cloak back. We probably actually we could have made it there in the barn because there's a workbench there. Okay, we did. We used most of our wood. Other than that, it was a very successful trip. A lot of kills, lots of meat, lots of cooking, and lots of hides. I only harvested one gut. And I suppose I could have harvested some guts from those wolves. When I was like, oh, I'm just going to pass time. When I said that, I suppose I could have gone to those carcasses nearby and just harvested some meat and guts. But I didn't really need it, is the thing. Looks like the wolves have not respawned, or they're not out yet. So I don't see them.
And when we make a fire next, we'll definitely make the pie because we have the uh, <laughs> we have all the ingredients. And we have ptarmigan, we have rabbit, and we have venison. Mainly used to heal that pie. It's like a super birch bark tea. Okay, here we are. So here we have wolf and bear. Let's see if we can drop some. What did I pick up? Bear. Oh, this is moose. Okay. Well, here's the. Here we can put moose in then. Oh, here we can put the rabbit as well as the raw. Meat. So this can be used for pies. And I guess that's it. Let's put the hides down. And there we are. These are not actually not cured, so we can't really use it. How damaged are these? This one maybe we should repair. I don't know, 27%? I don't think we need to. It's uh, The bear hides are too precious. We could instead make some arrows or something. Uh, I'm just going to drop these two here because... They are practically cured. Drop these. And these. And then the guts. We got a load of guts here. They're all cured. Drop these there too. And the one that's not cured. The wolf hides. We'll just put them on top here. And the rabbit hide. We only have to have one. So getting more rabbit hide would be good. And we'll just put here the, the deer hides. This needs... So five days, yeah, so it needs two more days to cure, so the evening in two days is fine. In those two days, what can we do? Well, I think we should do some repairs. Let's grab some, some cloth. Let's start by repairing with that cloth while it's still light. I want to repair this. 42% is not good. Repair that. Uh, 65 will repair that too. And what else is low condition? It sucks, but the terrible sucks. I don't really care. Uh, this we want to repair. So when the hides are cured after I made the sled, I'll, I'll use one to repair that. I'm not sure about this one. This also actually. 69. Uh, yeah, I guess we could repair it. There's only one cloth. Level some. Sewing. Um, I guess the rest is okay. Yeah, I guess so. For now, anyway. Cloth. How much cloth do I have in here, if anything? Oh, yes. Actually, I forgot. We need to repair the bedroll. This one. Yeah. How long? 45 minutes? Okay. Five ptarmigan downs. Wow. But it takes a repair skill, not mending skill. Oh, really? The chances is that's a hundred percent. Ah, okay. It's not uh, sewing then. No, it's not. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well that's fine. Put all this in here. Okay, let's uh, do a little bit of inventory check. We can make five more arrows. You can also do some repair. Do you have any more whetstones? No. That's something I can do now in the night. We got books to read, but these are rubbish books. I'll read those another time. I uh, think we're probably good. Oh, we don't need these. That was for like black rock. Charcoal. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's also refuel our lantern. Oh, we could repair the lantern too, but another time. Okay, sewing kit isn't in great condition, but we have so many of them. I might take one just so I don't forget for later. And then, uh, there was something I was going to do. Oh, yeah, sharpening. Let's just do that. Let's do some sharpening. 
so let's see uh 67 i didn't lose that much condition really from all that harvesting i did but nevertheless i'm going to sharpen it a max sharpening skill i think or where am i 98. It actually says now. I don't think this used to say that. It didn't say the skill. It actually it just said when you leveled it up. But now it says here. 100 is the highest, so... I don't think it really achieves anything. Okay, so that's 100 now at least. Hooray. Uh, 97. Sorry. Let's repair this one too. Eventually you'll run out of whetstones, but that's not going to be an issue because there's two ways. Uh, one is you could just make more tools, you just make more hatches and knives and they will last for a long time. And the other thing is you can go and repair them with a milling machine. So Bleak Inlet and I think actually Blackrock as well as a milling machine. Where if you go during an Aurora and you can repair your tools, so your hatchet, knife, hacksaw, that sort of thing. Uh, you can repair it to 100% with one scrap metal. Just one. Isn't that neat? I think that's good. We could repair... Do you have scrap metal in here? Yeah, I kind of want to repair this uh, lantern. It doesn't take a lot for it to break, but... I don't know if I can do it now. I think it maybe is too dark. No, it's too dark, yeah. We'll wait until morning then. Uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit in the dark because it's too early for me to sleep too long. I want to sleep until it's light. So this probably is good enough. I might place this down if I can. Rather than going up to, this, to, the, to the bed. Not a big deal if I can't, but yeah. Eat this. Drink that. And then sleep. I, mean, yeah, I always put 10, but this is going to be probably 6 or nah, probably 7 hours, I guess. Something like that. Now we can uh, repair the lantern. It doesn't really do anything like it takes a lot for a lantern to break i've actually never had it happen but it's just something to do while we wait to uh increase conditions this is also repair skill 30 percent repair same with the hacksaw but hacksaw's fine these also like you, you can repair them but it's fine Okay, uh, we can harvest this little thing, the little torch. What else? Inventory wise, I think we're good inventory wise. I'll put a couple of birch in here, like that. Only two of these. Uh, yeah, we need uh, one, two, three. Okay, very nice. They're close, like 81 and that. So they're close, but not there yet. And this still needs a little bit, yeah. So, uh, we still have like two days to before that's actually made. What is it that we can do? I mean, I guess we can go mapping, yeah. Yeah, we can go mapping. Do I have more sh charcoal in here? Maybe this is something we can do. Also make arrows. Charcoal in here. Two, really? Just two? After, didn't I use it to cook like a bunch? I must have used it. Three, so I got nine. I guess that's something. Are you sure there's no <laughs> charcoal in here? Really? Oh, I know where to find some. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, so... I'll just put a note here. Um, do some mapping until deer hide is cured. 
Why not? Let's go out. And back in. And with that, fellow survivors, I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. This was one of those supply episodes. Lots of hunting, lots of harvesting, and lots of cooking. And we got everything we needed. We even had two bear hides in the base. We had a bunch of wolf hides. We got deer hides. We only need one for the sled, so the rest will be repairs. We do need some more rabbits, though. Um, so if I do come across them, I might grab them because I lost those three rabbits earlier. A load of food, loads of water. This is a very strong regional base now. It's pretty much just done and dusted. But we are going to wait to have the deer hides cured so we can make the sled go back to the uh, barn and drag a lot of the meat back here. That's what I think. But uh, those two days for it to cure, uh, it's going to take too long. I think we'll go around and do some mapping or something. We'll fig figure something out. And then we'll make the sled, and then we'll go and get the stuff. And then we'll also go get the car battery. I could actually go get the car battery and drag it back here, maybe. Maybe let's put a couple more notes there just to, while I'm thinking about it. Let's put, like, maybe get car battery and some rabbits while we wait. Question mark. And I need to go out and in again for that. But yeah, so this was uh, one of those resupply episodes. So we definitely are well secured in Pleasant Valley. And nothing more to do here. Uh, so when we come back, uh, if we ever need supplies here passing through, we got it. So this is a perfectly safe regional base now. So if I ever need to travel through here, I got everything I need. And that's pretty much it. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.